Alright, so let's have a look at how to install this thing. Howler 8, uh, this is the Howler PD Pro 8 uh, Howler Edition, also known as Project Gloomhead. It's not quite released yet, it's getting close though, probably just another two or three weeks. This is about uh, June 16 right now, and I've just downloaded our release candidate 10. You can see here we had a couple of prior earlier versions, some demo in the making, beta switch to release candidate a couple of days ago. And here we go, so double click that and that should launch the installer. You probably will have UAC, user account control, asking you do you really want to do that. Alright, so here's a dog waffle howler set up. You might have the artist edition coming up maybe a couple of weeks later. Here is uh, the first click, next. Next one is where do we want to install this and if you are on a 64-bit version of Windows you will see program files x86 because this still is a 32-bit application so it goes into the x86 version of the program files. If you already have a folder that's named Howler from an earlier version you might want to change the folder where this one gets installed and you may have to uninstall the old one. Um, we've made some changes in the OCXs and there are a certain number of things that won't make these compatible with an earlier version. So, that all said, let's go and just override it and install into the current location. It doesn't mind. Um, you can give it a different name if you want to be specific, if you still have something like PD Particles or some other versions as well. For instance, you could call it uh, PD Pro Howler 8. I mean, that will be the symbolic name for you to remember it by and to recognize it in a couple of places. Alright, um, that will be basically the start menu folder. Um, I'm going to keep it to default here just so you can see the way it should look in most cases. And then we click next and then we say yes, yeah, so let's do a, let's have a desktop icon. That will make it much easier to run the program or to configure it in some ways, like right click it to run as administrator if necessary or change its compatibility mode to Windows XP SP2. Let's go next and a quick recap of what's about to happen. Install it and uh, there's a few files being installed in this case and at some point will be done. This probably will take about oh, what is it, 20-15 seconds and I could talk forever but this program wants to be done by now. So uh, <laughs> We register a bunch of files and there we go, there is a little dialogue here that you may want to uh, see what's happening here and basically add the register keys that we need for this to work the way intended. And so we go, click add. Now we are about to go. Now we did not launch this installer as administrator and because the program probably runs better when it is in administrator mode you may need to run it again, not the installer, but the program, run it as administrator. If you don't, if you run, if you actually run this program as administrator, it would now launch just fine. But be prepared that if you did just do a double click like I did in this demo, you may experience the following. And again, this varies depending on, I don't know, it's maybe UAC, user account control, or some other things that's causing this. Um, so if you don't have UAC enabled, you may not even see this problem, right? Okay, it's not really a problem, it's something we just have to live by. Alright, so <laughs> with this enabled here, if you have this box checked, launch project uh, dog waffle howler, if you finish, it will now launch it and it will fail because, because it doesn't have the right permission, right? It needs to be elevated, it requires elevation. That doesn't mean you take your laptop and lift it up a few inches higher. No, <laughs> it, means, it means that you, you need to run it as administrator or you go find it on your desktop and you double click it and run from there. And at that point it will ask you, do you really want to do that, right? That's the UAC coming in. But you could actually probably find some ways around it and say, don't even ask me. Uh, there's a couple of options to disable UAC or to give it the right permissions and so on. So I'll let you be the expert on that. And at that point uh, you might find it on your start menu and launch it there and there you go typically you'll see something like a user account control warning say yes let's run it and there we go all right happy painting and happy howling Arr!